Have you ever wanted to turn something from the real world into a 3D model that you can use in your animation, games, or just about anything? Well, today we're diving into Reality Scan. Reality Scan is a powerful 3D photogrammetry app that lets you automatically capture your world and translate it into 3D models. It's fast, mobile, and best of all, it's all for free. So if you've ever wanted to put a real tree from your backyard into your video game or immortalize your favorite piece of tech, you're gonna wanna stick around because we're diving into Reality Scan's features, use cases, and sharing some tips and tricks to get the most out of this app. We'll go over scanning, cleaning up, and rendering, which surprisingly can all be done on your phone. That's right, you don't even have to hop into your desktop for this. I'm super excited, I know you are too. All right, let's go. So the first step is to get an object that you want to scan. Using this method, you want to have something that doesn't have too much reflection or transparency. So this stuffed Squishmallow that I have for Gabe should work perfectly. Now, when scanning, I'm going to want to place it somewhere with an even lighting and avoid shadows that might be cast while I'm moving around. Then once we have our object set up, we should be all set to go ahead and scan this. To scan it, it's as easy as opening the app creating a new project and hitting the record button. You're gonna see that the app will automatically take photos as I move around the object and it will record the photo's position in space so that way we can visualize how well I'm taking photos of every angle. You'll see after a bit of time that some of the photos will turn green, which means that they have been processed and Afterwards, a point cloud should appear once more photos are in the space. If you see a red photo, that just means that the photo was not able to get analyzed properly. And so it's better to take more shots around that specific photo. That way the scene has a better understanding and connection between the photos all together to make the model. Now, once that's done, we can preview the capture and if everything looks right. We'll be able to see a colored point cloud as well as a quality point cloud in which the red areas are problematic areas for the scan and possibly could benefit from having more photos. Here we can use the crop tool to remove unwanted parts from our scan. It's helpful to get a view of this from all different angles, but if everything's looking great and we have the scene looking nice and ready, we can actually hit process and upload to their servers to get processed for a final model. Now, this is probably the lengthiest part of the entire process because it can take roughly 10 to 20 minutes for us to get something back from this. But once we're done, we have a super nice 3D scan of our stuffed animal. Now, you might notice that it's not super clean and one of the issues with 3D scans using photogrammetry is that they can come out blobby or have holes randomly. You're going to notice that objects with reflections also are going to come out very messed up, so that's why you want to avoid having that when it comes to photogrammetry. But don't worry, we can make this look so much better just by cleaning this up and the cool thing is, is that you don't even have to leave your phone to do this. Now, in the past, cleaning up a model would have been super tedious, just as photogrammetry would have been tedious and required you to take a bunch of photos with your DSLR and use some sort of desktop application. But today we're going to be using a cool app called Nomad Sculpt, and it's been one of my favorite mobile sculpting apps for the past few years now. Nomad Sculpt lets you import 3D models and sculpt on them, which is going to be super useful for cleaning up this 3D scan. So we're going to download this model from Reality Scan and import it into Nomad Sculpt, and we'll see that we have the full scan model with all of its beauty. Now, we even have a normal map and textures that we can link so that we can see all of the nice colors from the scan as well onto the model. Now, to clean up the model, I'm just gonna use the smooth brush and smooth out some of these bumps, but I can also use the other sculpting tools like Split, which will help me remove unwanted parts, or I can also use the crease brush, which will really help define the stitching of this stuffed animal. Once this is looking really nice, let's add in some really simple three-point lighting, turn on post-processing, and we can render out a final high resolution image. This is looking really awesome, but at the moment it is just a photo. So if we wanted to take this a step further, we could actually import this 3D model into Blender, set up a scene with a camera and really make something cool out of this 3D scan. Now I've seen people take this to all sorts of awesome places, such as using Unreal Engine to actually create characters that you can move or dynamically interact within a scene. And yeah, the possibilities are endless. So there you have it. It's super easy to turn an object in the real world into a usable 3D asset using your phone thanks to Reality Scan. 
If you've enjoyed learning this technique, then you'll probably want to check out this other video in which we turn text prompts into 3D models using AI. It's a lot of fun and I'm sure you'll find it interesting to say the least. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope to catch you the next one. All right, peace.